I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw all or most of the contributions we got from the Native Americans. I'm going to start over here at the top left hand side and right about there I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line, straight line up, curve line, connect. I come right back to that point and I draw a straight diagonal down, curve line, straight diagonal up, connect. I come over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. I'm going to build on that curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. And they can be uneven, that's okay. Straight line, curve line, connect. Right here in the center, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, and leave it floating. Come over here on the right hand side, we're going to do the same thing again. Straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Uh, straight line, straight line up, curve line, connect. Curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. And if you have room, straight line, curve line, up, connect. Starting right here on the upper right, I go straight line, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now I start over here on the left and I very carefully put a slightly wavy line over and leave it floating. Come inside this space, straight line, curve line, curve line, straight line. We're filling in the space, straight line, curve line, connect. This is a log cabin. But the Native Americans are the ones that showed everybody how to make an adaptation. Adaptation of their uh, Native American, I'm just going to put Native, longhouses. So when the Europeans showed up, they watched and saw what the Native Americans made for their longhouses and copied. They adapted the design. So that's the first thing. Okay, now come up here at the top and we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, Curve line out, curve line, straight line, straight line up. And right here we're just going to put a little curve line. And next to it we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line out, straight line, curve line, straight line up. This is two hands and they're doing sign language which the Native Americans developed so that they could speak amongst different communities, different tribes, without any problems. Sign language. All right, let's go right about here. Put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line down, straight line, curve line up, leave it floating, Come back over to the left, curve line down, straight line, curve line up. We're just going to put a baby circle, one, two, three, four little straight lines. Baby circle, one, two, three, four little straight lines. Next two, let's do it down here, let's put a straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal, little straight line, connect, and then curve line out in connect, little curve lines inside and going across. Okay. The Native Americans developed sports and one of the things they did was canoeing, canoeing, 
this is a canoe, and lacrosse as a game, which is when you throw the ball and catch it in the little thing at the end, and put a little baby circle. They learned how to use rubber and made rubber balls. Sports. Okay, right here on this side, put a dot on the right. We're going to do a spiral, spiral, leave it floating, little curved line, spiral, bring it down, curved line, curve line connect. Then just put some zigzag, 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 zigzag. This is the U.S. Constitution. And you might think, well, what does that have to do with anything? It has a lot to do with it because in 1142, the Iroquois, a tribe over on the East Coast, the Iroquois, was the oldest confederacy, was the oldest democracy. So we base a lot of our constitution on the Iroquois democracy. A lot of labeling. Okay, right here in the center. Wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy line. We're just going to go zig, zag, zig. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Zig, zag, zig. Curve line, curve line. Then we're going to just go big curve line, curve line. Zig, zag, zig. Big curve line, curve line, zigzag, zig. Little curve lines, zigzag, zig. Little curve lines, zigzag, zig. These are representing plant life. And the Native Americans had a, a lot of knowledge about plant life. And what they learned were which ones to use for medicine, which ones to use for soap, and which ones to use for clothes. And they are the ones that developed cotton. Okay? All right. Now come way over here, put a dot, and we're going to draw a big curve line out, around, up, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, Wavy line up, little curve line connect. Wavy line up, little curve line connect. Curve line inside, two, three, four, is fine. Right next to it, spiral, straight line, spiral, straight line down, straight lines inside, one, two, three, four, five little straight lines at the top. And over here, let's do curve line, curve line, little curve lines inside, curve line, curve line, little curve lines inside, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And down here, let's put a dot, draw a circle, come up the top, one, two, three, four, five curve lines. Come on the left side, curve line out, down, up, curve line out, up, put a dot, one, two, three curve lines, straight line, straight diagonal, up, connect. What are all of these things? All right, let's connect them. Wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Now I'm going to continue these lines right here. All right, the Native Americans taught uh, the Europeans how to live off the land. And how did they do that? They did it with pumpkins. So this is a pumpkin. Big time with corn and turkeys. Okay. But the concept of living off the land is theirs. Okay. Now, right here, 
let's draw a wavy wavy line up and off the page put a dot right here we're going to continue wavy wavy line up off the page come down to the dot wavy line off the page wavy line wavy line okay what is this the Native Americans built pathways that the Europeans turned into roads and railways so they're the ones that mapped out everything okay alright come all the way down here at the bottom put a dot we're gonna draw a straight diagonal straight line straight diagonal up come back to this dot straight line in curve line straight line out and connect right here above it we're just going to put a straight line curve line on this end on the right curve line on this end on the left right here if you can squeeze it in and put a little curve line dot dot zigzag 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 curve line curve line now come back over here straight diagonal jump over straight diagonal down and this is a kayak and we still use the same design that the Native Americans figured out oh, I forgot zigzag zigzag up here Native Americans used for the waterways up north put some wavy lines wavy lines now the last thing is curve line straight line curve line and put a little curve line on top and over here curve line curve line straight line curve line up two straight line straight line connect these are two inventions that I thought were important this is a syringe for putting medicine into your bodies and this is a baby bottle and it goes back to the Native Americans using everything so they made the baby bottles out of uh, an animal bladder and a little tip from the same material and that was a baby bottle and the syringes they made out of um, intestine animal intestine and then a hollow bird bone for uh, accessing the material okay I forgot little hands curve line curve line and I think that's all we'll know better when we start coloring let's see how we are going to color this in okay there is so much going on I'm going to try and do this by color so I'm going to color my log cabin brown and again this kind of ties into living off the land because whatever materials were available is what they made their homes out of the Europeans showed up and they adapted their designs made their own rendition of a longhouse okay sign language well no let's do the canoe we're gonna do all the brown my fault so color in your canoe We'll give it a little pop of color on our baby circles and these were all animal hides bark they made different types of canoes stretched over and the lacrosse I thought was interesting so here's your brown handle come down here let's draw brown for our pathways and I think this is interesting because they basically mapped out America and let's do our turkey brown okay there we go and the bottom part of my kayak and the kayaks are really an incredible invention because if you capsize meaning if you flip over in the water it flips right back up 
they haven't even changed the design. Here are my paddles, right and left. Okay, next, using my gray, I'm going to color in my baby bottle down here at the bottom and my syringe, which I also thought was an incredible invention. See, everything that they invented, we took over. We, as far as like Europeans, took over and made it their own. Next, pumpkins. So this is orange. And regular green. Now, the living off the land was an important concept that the Europeans didn't quite get. Might have been why they starved that first winter. This is my corn. Corn was a very important crop. I use regular green and then come in and do a little bit of yellow up at the top. So they didn't know how to live off the land. And because of that, that was why some of the European settlements starved to death. But the Native Americans they knew what they were dealing with. They'd been there for thousands of years. Okay, there's my turkey with a little bit of red. Okay, I'm going to come up and I'm going to color some of these. Now, the plant life is important. This looks like it was literally already um, growing in rows. But it wasn't. This is, pretend this is wild in the out. And they would be able to go through and decide, they knew intuitively which plants worked for wounds, which plants worked for pain, and utilized all of those in their medicines, and then also soap. They're the ones that figured out cotton could be made into materials, okay? All right. My little Inuit down here. Don't forget the northern tribes. I'm going to do purple, purple, just for a pop of color. Okay. And if you have multicultural crayons, you can color in his face or her face. And... I colored the Constitution yellow, and again, interesting fact that the Iroquois, the Iroquois Confederacy, that means it was more than one group of, of Native Americans, a couple of different tribes, all got together and figured out democracy. And the sign language, I'm doing this purple. Sign language, very important if you didn't know how to communicate with your neighbors through language. They did it through sign language. Super important. Okay. I think that's all. Oh. My rubber balls. Let's do this gray. Sports. And my kayak. Wavy line. Wavy line. Wavy line. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my contributions from the Native Americans all colored in. There are so many more things that they contributed to life in North America. Okay, bye-bye.